All right, so we heard from a concerned viewer this week about something happening on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. In fact, he wants others to join him in stopping the Turnpike from doing away with paper towels in the service plaza restrooms. New this morning, John Shumway took his complaint and checked in with the Turnpike. So, John, what did you find out here? It is very true. The oh. Turnpike's trying to go more green, and William Harvey is not one to just sit around and wring his hands, literally. William Harvey spends a lot of time on the Pennsylvania Turnpike each week for work. I spend hundreds of dollars a week in turnpike fees and that this is one more inconvenience they're going to put on us is infuriating. From his Scenery Hill home, William told me about going into the Midway Service Plaza, washing his hands and face. And there were no paper towel dispensers. But he was wet. So I had to go into the concession area and get some... Um, napkins to dry my face with. The Turnpike says it is no mistake. Slowly but surely, we are going to be making the conversion uh, away from paper towels uh, in favor of in favor of the, the, the blow dryers. Well, I've tried using those dryers to dry my face. It's, it, they don't work great on your hands, let alone your face. We're hopeful that we'll be able to convert to some of the ones that, that where the nozzle moves up. So out go the towels to uh, reduce litter and and uh, and other be uh, side effects, if you will, of paper towels. They're biodegradable, they're made of post-consumer uh, product, so that argument really doesn't hold water. Harvey worries about families traveling with small children or the need just to clean up a spill. I'm thinking about truck drivers who just need to throw some water on their face. Overall, the value of uh, and the benefit to the environment, I think, um, you know, outweighs uh, many of these concerns. I hope everybody that sees this calls them and tells them that it's not a good idea. Now, DeFebo says that there are 17 service plazas in the Turnpike system, and the transition away from the paper towels is going to be gradual over the next few months, but it's coming. This is such an interesting topic. Yeah, because I, I know there are people on both sides of this. Right. Yes. Uh, but he brings up some really good points. So does Williams hope to get the public behind saving the towels really have any chance? Can it make a difference? Well, you never know about these kind of things, but DeFebo told me that this is a done deal. Hmm. And okay. it's keeping with the Turnpike Commission's push towards a sustainable future. And they, of course, are not the first ones to do this. A lot of times in airports, you don't find paper towels. I have a home... Uh, improvement store that I go to that doesn't have paper yeah. towels. I mean, we're seeing this more and more, but if you're traveling on the turnpike, you might want to bring along your own paper towels. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you want to wash your face, like to wake up and when you're right. driving, yes. and then you try to get underneath that. No chance. Can. Yeah, it doesn't work so well. <laughs> All, right. All right, we'll be watching it. Thanks, John.